Welcome to Smooth Jazz Radio, where we have the smoothest jazz possible. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to 30 Days of Jazz with Rocky. All right, our first song we're going to listen to today is Take 5 by Dave Brubeck. Love that groove. So that's Paul Desmond on alto sax, Dave Brubeck on piano, and Joe Morello on drums. I don't remember what the bass player name is. This song is called Take Five. Dave Brubeck uh, named it that because it's in 5-4, which is a funny story behind that. Uh, most songs in jazz at that time, from what I read, is either a 3-4 waltz or in 4-4. And this whole album, Time Out, is what this song is on. Uh, every single song, if you listen to the Time Out by Dave Brubeck, is a different time signature for every song. So this one's in 5-4. And there's like a secret formula that uh, he did an interview and Dave Rebeck said there's a secret formula to sailing, selling, you know, songs and selling albums. And this album couldn't have worked because it's an odd time signature so people can't dance to it. And it's just weird. Well, he showed them. He did it anyway. And it's one of the most used jazz songs in movies and TV. Bands are just grooving. And Paul's just wailing away. Oh, time for a piano solo. I'm so glad this is my first song for 30 Days of Jazz. I'm not really a jazz person. I, I love jazz and I've played it, but I wouldn't consider myself a jazz musician. I'm more of a rocker and pop and funk is my forte. So this is why I force myself to be into it. Not to be into it, but to do 30 Days of Jazz and listen to 30 Days of classics in the jazz community. I love how he's playing that 5-4, okay, he's playing the 5-4 pattern on his left hand and soloing his, on his right. <laughs> Anyone else catch that? I'm sorry if that's a, like a common thing. I'm a drummer. So it's not a com I, I don't know if it's a common thing for piano players to do, but I think it's cool. That's really cool independence. His left hand was literally playing 5-4 pattern. And his right was playing solo. <laughs> He's just going off now. Bring the dynamics down a little. I love is something is different about jazz as opposed to any other uh, form of music. Um, when you jazz players always dress up and classical musicians. Oh, 
here we go. He's staying in the 5-4 time as well. Interesting how, now I'm going to comment because I'm a drummer. It's interesting how he went from the left hand, you know, traditional grip and went to a match grip for his solo. wonder why he decided to do that. That snare drum sounds so good. Still going, keeping time. I love it. Woo. Get it. Oh, yeah, that nice crossover, too. Rubeck's like, yep. Good job, Joe. Here we go. <laughs> nice job. That was good. No bass player solo? Mm. Gene Wright. There you go. Gene Wright on bass. Un program. This must be in, in, a French. A French taping. Bass player is just grooving. He he's not let timing go away at all. Love it. Mm. That was such a simple um song. And I say simple because five four is not simple to play in, but there wasn't a lot of different melody. There's only two melodies going on during the whole song, and to make an entire song out of two melodies is genius. So I can understand why this is part of the top 100 jazz songs. It's on the top of the list, and uh, this was kind of fun listening to this the first time. Um, check out my next video. I'm gonna do one for 30 days every single day. A different jazz song for 30 days and get my jazz theory uh, better than what it is now. So stay tuned for the next one. Bye.